Gibson, Gibson, Gibson. They, um, we all love them. We love to hate them. We hate to love them. But um, we do, we love it. I mean, I, I've been a Gibson lover I, my whole life, right? It's good I, to get that out, right? It's I know, it's, it's weird it. to say that, yeah. And so, um, yeah. They, you know, they, they, and like, as a guitar shop, we would love to sell Gibsons. And, um, and even, they've had a lot of troubles through the past few years. It's true. Lots of troubles. And we've sort of been on the fence with them. We've talked, we've had like, we've had meetings with them at NAMM and the, uh, various other things in the garage. Awesome team they have right now in place. Yep. We're excited to work with them. But um, we just can't get them in the store. Nope. Can't get them in. Like they're, um, they, and like, we're going we're gonna to submit a plea to any of you guys out there watching, any of the fans of this, this YouTube channel. Send, we got the link down there below. Send Gibson like, hey, why aren't you guys at Casino? Just send like it's it's been like we, we agreed to sort of carry them. Guy, it was like it was the last live winter nam. We met with them. Twenty like, twenty January yeah, twenty twenty. God, it was it right before like the whole world came to collapse. That's right. Like yeah, we I think we're ready for it. You guys are sort of on the men. We want to, <laughs> and they were like cool. We're, we're super <laughs> we're super excited. We love what y'all are doing. We love your brand. Yeah. That we love Casino. Like I'm like that's awesome. We, this great rep. The reps have since changed. I don't I don't know the new one. Um, it was it's exciting. We're like, okay, we're gonna get this thing done. And then, then the world came to a screeching halt. Yep. Smash, crash. Yep. We did it. And um, and I, we know production issues are sure a wazoo of disasters. But that being said, like, however, we see them still going. There, there's guitars going out some a little bit. And they, I think they're ready. For, they need to. They need to like. They need to sort of like get their eyeballs right where they should go. I think. I like, just take a look. We would love to help. We love them, but we're also, we've been nervous about them. They had some QC issues over the past bit, and we call them out on it. We're very honest about that with all of our brands, we, with PRS, with Fender, with Taylor, with Martin. You know, I've had, I'm very honest about everything. Amen. And to the chagrin of many of the people we work with. <laughs> I was gonna say, sometimes to our detriment. No, sometimes we are too honest, because like, there's a relationship. We are, we are in partnerships with these people. We sell their guitars right. and things. And sometimes we're idiots, and we say stupid things, because we're not smart, it's true. and we don't, I don't have a filter. Not much of a no, filter. No, like, I mean, I, I literally, like, I'll walk up to a woman, I'll be like, you are a beautiful woman, and, I, and I'm not hitting on you, I'll just tell her that, and, and I'll, I'll, or I'll walk up to somebody, like, you are a terrible parent. If I see like their child running around, like just smashing guitars and things, I'm like, yeah. how can you let this happen? <laughs> you know, like I'm very, I don't have that thing that shuts off what you shouldn't say, but so we said it with all the manufacturers. So yeah. I'm, I'm saying right now to Gibson, it's like, hey, like, like it's, we're ready. What if there were guitars? Think. Yeah, what, what if there were guitars instead of and we, we've been talking about this for the past week. Record labels. You know, well, record labels, the, the apps, the, um, the clothing brands, the... Cease and desist letters. Cease and desist letters, <laughs> like they handed them out, like, you know, like playing cards, like, right. like my friend Derek behind the camera was doing that when, they were, when he was over in Afghanistan and Iraq, like handing out the, the deck of cards of the bad guys, like, this is you. Now, I don't know. I don't really... Know. That's a cool story. I watched that um, 13 Hours from Benghazi the other night. Was it good? Yeah, I've seen it like three times. It's always fun to watch our guys just like... Like, and, and it makes me sad. I was watching everybody get mowed down. So it, was a, it was really a sad thing. Great, great movie though. It was Buckheimer, I think, making like a serious non-Transformers movie. There you go. And a guy from um, The Office was like one of the stars. No. Oh. Which guy? Krasinski. 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 I, I love him from like Jack Ryan characters and like the yeah. the Quiet movies. What um, Quiet Place? Those are great movies. Yeah. But um, yeah. no, good. Great actor. Fun. Um, anyway, I where was I? I got it. lost. I will watch it. Yeah, but like Gibson's doing all sorts of other things. Yeah, they got they got the, the but like this is the thing I started like I was pleading with with you guys and like with other people at Gibson too I was like let's can y'all just like spend more money on your manufacturing mm. it's just like Sweetwater I, I'm gonna give them some serious kudos right here during the pandemic and pre pandemic their planning was like they built like I don't know a hundred thousand more square footage of warehouse space yeah so they could ship more things which is awesome they don't make things they ship and sell things and they sell a ton of things and they invested properly at that time to like hey we need to facilitate the push through of our product to our customer base would you say their eye was on the ball yes <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> to say their something. eye on the ball <laughs> and, like, and I get like Gibson's coming out of like they were coming out of the, the disastrous yeah. turn of like the end of the Henry time which was a shame because like I've talked with people at Gibson about this too, and like with my friends, like Henry was not all bad. He was great for a long time, more great than bad. That's it. And people, just it is people it. will never watch again now. No, <laughs> I know he <laughs> was in the beginning parts. He was. No, he was. He brought it, Gibson right. back from the first like sort of like troubled period. Yeah. And people, like, we all forget that because he like he, he he sunk that shit bad. He, he went 
pretty off the rails. Yeah. It's like U571, the German film. Very sad ending, that's all I'll say. Um, you know. Great movie. Probably the best war movie in history. It might, that might be the best. If you haven't watched it, U571. It's a German film. There you go. F wonderful. It's like, it, yeah, anyway. But no, it's like, um, yeah, we, they... But I mean, coming out of that, I think, is why we're all hesitant about seeing them. Oh, we're doing this thing over here. Because I understand that, you know, the same guy who's running the record label is not going to come make guitars. Like, we, we get that. Like, they're separate enterprises. But watching them divide their focus that way. And I guess that's the upper management's, like, job right. is to create more funnels yeah. for things. That, and like to, and they're, they're still repairing the brand. And I get that. And, like, and what I've seen, they're doing a fantastic job of doing it. I think so too, man. Yeah, and I after we heard, you know, the the JC stuff at the, the garage, yeah, we were. Well, it was the most rock and roll. It really was of all the like we. And I, I give them kudos for that because I've heard the same sales pitch from every manufacturer sure. ever. Like, you know, profits are high. This is this. This is our new sell through. Like, we're, this is going to yeah. be X and Y. Is like we're doing great. <laughs> we're spending this and like, and, but the way Gibson did it was really funny. It was like, man, we're just kicking ass and. We're like we're sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I was like, this Gosh, is darn it. Yeah, I was like, this was, is awesome. It was awesome, and, and and pretty candid and honest. I thought. No, he's know? like, yeah, I was like we it screwed was up a lot. Positive. It was yeah. No, and it, the girl. I think the Gibson Garage is a friggin' is awesome. It's a it's a hats success. off to Dylan again. There, Dylan was an awesome. What was your friend's name? Our time? buddy John Wolford. John Wolford, who was a superstar. I, I, I thought Dylan was a superstar too, though. Dylan is a superstar. Because like you didn't see it off camera. Like Dylan was like doing like half pikes and stuff in the back behind the Gibson garage on the skateboard. Weird. That dude's yeah. a skating champ. It's crazy. Skating champ. Like people don't know he might be. You don't know. Tony Hawk's like a little he could be. offspring or something. That's what I like be. to think of. Thanks, Dylan, for those uh, those great little moves you were doing back there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having good memories now. <laughs> He only broke like 30 skateboards along yeah, the way, but no whatever. They're Gibson branded skateboards coming soon That's to fine. a store near you. Don't do it. Don't do it. We do have a casino guitar skateboard out front. Somebody made we us do. one. Yeah, I somebody, saw that. Somebody made us one. They put playing cards and like spelled casino and cut playing cards on it. I've been looking at that thing for a while and I, every day I mean to that, like be like, hey, where did this skateboard come from? The story from? of that was don't. this kid was going to start a thing because we were trying to be involved with it's all weird. the young kids to start a skate park here in Southern Pines, North Carolina. I'm very proactive and like I like yeah. kids to have stuff to do. Otherwise, they just stare at their phones and don't do anything, and then they drop out of school and hang out and don't do anything. But I think skating is a cool thing to do, and you get to look cool, you wear cool clothes, and it's rock and roll oriented, and they're doing something active. And so he built that as he was gonna like do this charity thing, and then he he never ended up doing it. Just life no. happened, COVID happened, That's true. and um. But we got a but, skateboard out of it, and we're still yeah, holding the torch. Anyway, what were we talking about? Next video, <laughs> you're skateboarding. Is that what's gonna happen? God, I, I'm terrible at skateboarding. <laughs> I can't skateboard at all. That's the funny part. I'm like ridiculously bad at it. We could just, I could just, like, you could sit on it. I could push you down the street. No, like my son, my eight year old son, is a better skateboarder than I. Am, well, yeah, I think. and I mean, we other yeah, kids. Yeah. And my wife's husband's like a skateboarding monster. Plus, they bounce. Yeah, they do bounce. If I fall, I just, just break. They just fall and like, bam. Okay. Break. Yeah, no, we would just be like, oh, no, it's all oh, we're dead. So, the Gibson is. Let's. They're there. They're 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 ready. They're poised, and then they keep they the little missteps. A little bit, but it's so so close because the stuff like we got our hands on all the guitars. They were cool. The team seems like great right now. Awesome. Yeah, like, it awesome. seems like all like the, the the I met the Midwest reps. I met the guys at the custom shop. We met you know JC and like um, Mark and all those guys. Like everyone's excited. Yeah. Everyone's like they're really excited. They're firing. It's just like you got to get that excitement into production though. You gotta make the guitars. You got you gotta build the guitars. You have to deliver to dealers that will sell your guitars too. Yes. And like and there and I think everyone's living in this world of the manufacturers, some of them, the good ones have figured it out. But um well they'll sell themselves. We don't need to go to NAM, we don't need to do anything, they're all gonna mm. sell it. Nah. No, like you have to have like a guy that's in a team that's gonna proactively get behind your line. Right. And, it's true. And like and call you out on it too when you make goof ups. Yes. Because God, man, I've gotten so many Did fights. You got so many fights with some of our best friends in the in this industry because of us calling mm -hmm. out stuff. And Ouch. then later they come after we get in fights. Some of us will be like, "Hey, man, yeah, you're kind of right on that. I mean, you delivered it wrong, but yeah, and we do we deal with Gibson too, and we're not even dealers yet." <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna watch, like, who are these guys? So no, no I, <laughs> why the, are they talking about us? No, it's like, yeah. oh no, no, but, yeah, yeah. but, yeah, but they're, they're, we have to talk about them. They're one of the yeah. biggest. Guitar companies in their legacy line, you know, there's Fender, there's Gibson, there's Martin, there's Taylor. Those are the monsters of the industry. And then PRS has sort of snuck up and like, hey, it's us too now, because they have. They were sort of like a 
sort of a third wheel there, kind of like to this this power group, and then they've sort of entered in there. They're they've sort of they've taken advantage of Gibson's missteps. I would, I would say so. Yes, in um in a proper way. Thumbs up to that little marketing team. Give one up. And John Mayer, having him on your side is is a behemoth. It's almost like cheating. He's so pretty. <laughs> He's so pretty. Don't don't let people know about our man crush on Mayer. It's upsetting. It's um. We're gonna yeah, listen so, to Sob Rock three times after this. We're not gonna do in that. its entiety. We're yeah, not no, doing we are. No. We absolutely are. I'm gonna listen to Toto before we do that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> like I said, no. we're gonna listen. To I'm listening to My Chemical Romance tomorrow. I listen to all this sort of like unreleased stuff that we heard earlier. All right. And I've gone through it all. I'm done with them. Whatever. Um, you know, so let us know your thoughts on like Gibson and how they've been sort of handling their their place in the, the sort of COVID related world and if they can do anything better. Yeah, you because know, we think they're on the right marching path as far as their QC's gotten dramatically better. Yes. Their their line has gotten better. Their Epiphone line is like the Jared James Nickel alone just like saves it for me. No. Like I want that guitar. I will buy one of those immediately and have it. I want the guitar, I want and him. I want him and his giant self just to come sit in my room and play it for me. I would like his Instagram. Watch Jared James Nichols' Instagram. It's yeah, hilarious too. And if I have a man crush, it's more on him than John Mayer. I have to say. Yeah, I think so in a lot of ways because he just—he's the guy we all want to be. Like you know, when you play a guitar when you're like in your eighth grade, and he, he plays, he's doing, he's like throwing it at the camera. It's, it's freaking amazing. But most people, let's just be real. They would do that, and it would be kind of lame. He'd be like, okay, what a loser. For some reason, he does it, and it's just like real, and it's like blues power, and you're like, yeah. Because I feel like it must have been like four or five years ago when I first discovered him at NAMM, like playing at the Gibson booth yep. or something. I was like, that guy is awesome. He's he was amazing. that weird monster. Just like tall. hair and... Yeah, like he, I think, yeah, I, I like him more than almost anyone in rock and roll right now in a strange way. It's just because it's just he's cool. He's funny. He's, he's, and he could cradle you in his arms like a baby. He did. We did have a moment together at Nam. Yes, did do that. We ran into each other, and I was like, oh, "He's so he's beautiful. He's like Thor. <laughs> he's like one of Thor's buddies. He, he would like, he would be. He'd be like he's like the you know, the, the tall the drinking team. buddy of like yeah. Thor's guys that would just hang out. Like he 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 doesn't use a weapon because he's so big. Yeah, he was just, just like grabs you and like smash heads together, smash ice people together. Which again, I'm gonna pitch it again. If you haven't watched it, Ragnarok. On Netflix, I'm in season two. Amazing. Season two is better. They actually have a budget in season two. Not the Thor some... movie. The no, series. No, not the yeah, not the movie. Different thing. With it's a Norwegian TV show. It's wonderful. The actors it's are good. fantastic. They are fantastic, too. actually. Um, no, just let us know what you think about if Gibson's doing the right stuff. If um, and man, more importantly, if you want to see Gibson at Casino Guitars, I think we're all excited about it. We're we're pretty pumped. We are pretty. We like to, but we're we're going to be honest about it too. Like as they keep making missteps, or if they don't, or if they do amazing things, we call it out. And hopefully they like that little weird team player. Like or the, the worst. Old, uh, <laughs> the Mr. O. I know, we're, we're like the worst cheerleaders ever. We're, we're kind of. Yeah. I mean, you're the best, except when you're not. And we're going to make fun of it. Yeah. And, and be straight about it. Anyway, that's it. Done. Oh, yeah. Click that link there below, too. This, all the subscribe stuff. He'll do that. But, like and subscribe. But now I was talking about that one below where like um, you send a comment to Gibson or something. Be like, hey. Do that. Yes. No, definitely do, do that. Do that thing. Send yeah. them. Say it. Hey. Say, Send your guitars you know, like, to Casino. Yes. How are how are they saying? Whatever, it just doesn't make sense. It just makes sense. Have a little fun with it. They they want to. We're, we're this is all for fun and games. But like, send them that stuff, and we're gonna. It's it's they need guitars. Yes. Do it. I'm there out. you go. I'm leaving. So also like and subscribe. Click the bell. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.